So the Schlua chase is next, which is the first of 19 grade races and listed events over this week. It's over two miles. It's a grade two. Cape Frank for Darren Thompson. Coolberg about for Martin Leedham. Hollow Spear for David Robertson. The King for Joshua Sutherland. Cash's Queen for David Hooley. Relative Rose for Craig Allen. And a Smiler for Joshua Sutherland. Makes a small field of seven here. So try and win the Schlua chase. Here at HQ. Star has got him away. Straight into the first fence here. There they are. They're all over it. Bit of a slow jump by Cash's Queen towards the rear. It looks like we're going to be led by Relative Rose. Smile at the Grey Cape Frank as they go with a second. A much better jump there by, I think, Corbett about. Maybe that's the King. Oh no, it's Cash's Queen that took that one really well. Anyway, we're going to come down to the third. We're going to be led by Relative Rose. And we're pushing through now is Hollow Spear to take it up. The Hollow Spear and Relative Rose together. The Grey and Twin Horses is Cape Frank. We'll get over the th oh no, they don't all get over there. Cash's Queen is gone for David Hooley. Unlucky. Get over the fourth. One that pegged a little bit on landing there was Corbett cool about for Martin Leedham and the blue and white striped silks up against the fence. But we're going to be led by Cape Frank for Darren Thompson. On the inside is Relative Rose for Craig Allen. They're a length and a half away from Hollow Spear up against the fence. He's Corbett cool about. And then the two Josh Sutherland horses, the Smiler and the King, looking to get a quick fire double here from winning the last. But it's Cape Frank that leads by a length and a half from Relative Rose in second. And a further length away from Hollow Spear. And then the southern horses of the King and the Smiler as we go to the six. We'll take that well and call back about just at the rear. So the grey, Cape Frank, leads us by about three now. Happily bowling along. Takes the water well. It's a good stride away from it. It's Cape Frank. About three now to the King and Hollow Spear are together for the half a length back to the Smiler, which is coming alongside now. The big ditch there. And Cape Frank was a little bit slow over it, and he leads down to just two lengths now. To the King in second. Hollow Spear is third. The Smiler is fourth. Oh, and he went, ah, oh, and the lead is gone. He didn't even try and jump that. So Cape Frank goes, leads Hollow, leaves Hollow Spear and the King. A smiler and relative Rose. He's forward together and just a little bit disconnected at the moment. He's called Begum out for Martin Leader. They get into the, another ditch this time. Hollow Spear took it slowly and has allowed the King to take it up. So they come back downhill now. Inside the six, the King. Going to be challenged now by Relative Rose. Relative Rose moves up on the outside. Doesn't go past, just comes alongside. These two are your one, two. And you've got the Smiler on the outside of Hollow Spear. And then about four or five lengths back to the pushed along call bed about. So it's the King now, just by a nose. Inside the final half mile from Relative Rose. They both go over that well. As does the Smiler on Hollow Spear. We're losing sight of Corbeg about. So as they come down to the next, only two from home. And it's the King, Relative Rose, the Smiler, Hollow Spear. What are we going to be between these? We're going to win it. Going past the three furlong pole. And it's still the King. Coming down to the penultimate. We get to the business end of the race. Relative Rose starts to move as well. So the King and Relative Rose as they come down to the penultimate with the Smiler just on the outside. Hollow Spear's got a little bit to do. Oh, and Relative Rose went straight through the top of it and allowed the King and the Smiler to take it up now. They both jump the last well. So the King and the Smiler. These two as they go uphill from the Relative Rose and Hollow Spear are still trying to plop on. The Smiler, Re the King, Relative Rose trying to get between horses. But the King's just going to hang on, I think, here. The King from the Smiler, Relative Rose just trying Trying to push through, but it's the king that hangs on from relative rows in second. The smiler was third, Hollow Spear was fourth. Cool back about turned up a fifth. So Josh Sutherland gets a quick one too. Week five follows up his last win with the king in this one. Wins the Schlua chase. Second was relative rose for Craig Allen. Third was the smiler for Josh Sutherland. Fourth was Hollow Spear for David Robertson. And fifth was Cool Begum out for Martin Leader.